Welcome back, Nero, Nero X back again. Welcome back to another episode of Mobile Game Mondays. Today's subject is Battle Bay. Now, if five second reviews are ever a thing on my channel, I'd probably be more than comfortable telling you that it's basically Overwatch with boats. But, five second reviews aren't a thing on this channel because this video's gone already gone on longer than five seconds. But short and to the point, it's a team-based multiplayer action game in which you control boats with varying different weapons. All the weapons have their own strengths, weaknesses, cooldown times, you name it. Insert clip of Shirley Caesar preaching here. Moving right along. You have five different classes of ships. You have your shooter, which is sort of like Tracer from Overwatch. No real glaring weaknesses, but no real glaring strengths. The speeder, which is light and speedy, but very easy to bring down. You have the Defender, which is slow and powerful, the Healer, which no one plays, and I believe that's it. The Fixer, which no one plays, Speeder, Defender, Shooter, what am I forgetting? No, no, that's all of them. Anyway, if you like team-based gameplay, you like ra occasionally raging on a train for no real good reason, and you want to go around round or two with me, feel free to download this game, add me on it, start a guild up, and... Yeah, I think that's about all I can bring up in this video, other than showing off how good my footage came out, how good I did in the footage. Yeah, look at that, I held the line. I guess I should tell you guys a bit about the mechanics. You can win a match by two ways, either destroying all of your opponent, all of the opposing team, which is pretty self-explanatory, or by holding a certain point in the map for a certain amount of time. This point is called the capture point and it's shown up as a green circle on the map. If you can stay within this circle for a certain until it goes to 100%, you will win the match by default. Now this is a lot easier said than done because logic dictates that in multiplayer based games you tend to move around as opposed to staying in one place. At least I did in this footage anyway when I made the comeback. Moving right along. <laughs> Again, every like I said earlier, every weapon has their own strengths and weaknesses. My personal setup is involves the cannon, which is your standard starting weapon with the first ship, the sniper cannon, which is much more accurate and much more powerful, and the rail gun, which is more powerful than the both of those, but has the longest cooldown time. Yeah, you can't just go firing off willy nilly. Every weapon has its own distinct cooldown time, and every ship has its own properties, and certain weapons can't go to certain ships, and blah blah blah. The game overall is really well balanced. The controls are a bit clunky for my taste, but that's just me. So yeah, that's about it, I think, on this game. I was just really talking so I could show you guys the rest of the footage off. Um, yeah, I'm Nero X. Like, share, and subscribe if you want more. If you have any suggestions for mobile games, please let, leave them in the comments below or at me on Twitter. And I will, and I will get to them as soon as I can. I'm Nero X, and I'm out of here.